So what we've done up to now, that argmax thing, that's called greedy decoding, and you can actually do something slightly more clever. Okay? And Vanner, if you can do this slightly more clever thing, just hang on to your seat, then you can use the same approach to actually rescore with a, a separate language model. Okay, so just to, to summarize the problem, with greedy decoding, if you make a mistake early on, then you're more or less screwed for the rest of your output. Okay, so if the sentence, I don't know why this stuff is also violent, is I ate my metatarte salon, which in Afrikaans is he hit me with a pie. This comes from the, the CS2241N, 224N from, at Stanford. They, he had this example, but now I'm using this example, okay? So, so Chris Manning has something about pies and, and being hit. But anyway, input is I claim it the Islam. The ground truth, the desired output is he hit me with a pie. Now, what we're doing is we're feeding in, we take this thing. Uh, we pass it through our decoder, we get our red vector out. Okay, cool. We use the red vector, we condition the decoder, and we start to output stuff one time step at a time. We output the word he. He then feeds into the next time step. Um, we output the word hit, which is nice because it matches what we want. Feeds into the next time step. Now, at this time step, the highest probability word is a. Uh. He hit a. Uh. Reasonable, according to Vanner's language model, but not the right word actually. Now we're stuck with the word uh for the rest of our decoding phase. Okay? And it's actually very hard for the model to recover. Okay, so we cry a little bit and that's it. Okay. Greedy decoding means I take the best decision that I have right in front of me. The problem with that is there might actually be a, a slightly better decision now that could help me get a better overall solution later on in life okay this is what students do all the time I have Netflix and I have this tutorial that I want to do I want to optimize happiness okay so what I do I just look at what my options right in front of me watching Netflix is the better option to optimize happiness right now I don't do my tat okay in that moment that is actually the optimal thing for the student to do to optimize happiness but it's screwing up later choices in life, right? Because now they don't do the tutorial. Night before the exam, now they fail. Now they have to do a whole extra year of undergrad engineering. Okay? And that, what does that do to my metric? Happiness decreases happiness by a ton. Okay? A lot more than the happiness I gained by just watching Netflix now. Okay. Disney Plus. Sorry. I'm okay. Okay. That was a long rant. Okay. Everything is fine. Okay, cool. That's really decoding. Okay, so what you actually want to do, and this isn't on the slides, is you want to consider, I've got these time steps that's going through my model. What I actually want to do is I want to keep track of a whole bunch of very good options. Okay, if I have infinite compute, I actually want to keep track of all the possible outputs um, through my decoder. And then right at the end, I want to say, okay, listen, what was the best optimal sequence of output words out of all the possible output word sequences that I could get? Okay. That would be like exhaustive search, right? So if you have five time step outputs, let's just add five outputs. There's a 50,000 dimensional vector, 50,000 dimensional, 50,000, 50,000, 50,000. And I want to backtrack to get the overall optimal sequence of five words to get the highest overall optimal probability. That would be exhaustive search. You can't do this because there are 50,000 to the power of five possible paths through this thing. And to keep track of 50,000 to the power of five is difficult. And that's for a short five word sequence. If the sentence is 10 long, then it's 50,000 to the power of 10. A lot of options. You can't do that. Okay. But you can do something that's slightly better than greedy. Okay. Then just deciding between Netflix and your tutorial now, you can actually do something slightly clever, more clever. And this is something called beam search. 